Hello, welcome to today's Pick a Card reading. And uh, today's topic is how do they feel or think about you? Okay, so today I have three different decks. The first deck here is the Gilded Tarot Loyale. Okay, and this deck, okay, looks like this. And it is paired with the Aqua Obsidian, which controls the fifth chakra, the third chakra. Okay. So if this uh, stone, okay, is resonating with you, this is your deck. Okay. And the second uh, deck is the Tarot of Magical Forest. Okay. So this is what the deck looks like. Also, this deck is paired with a lovely selenite. Selenite deals with clarity and focus. It also enhances our spirit teams to give us uh, straightforward answers. It also clears out negative energy. Okay. So this is deck number two. And for deck number three, we have the Light Sears Tarot. Okay. And this particular deck, okay, looks like this. And it is also paired with the Rainbow Rose Quartz. It's also known as the Angel or Rose that controls the fourth chakra, which is the heart chakra. So if this uh, rose quartz or this deck is resonating with you, this is deck number three. So go ahead and take a moment, okay, to uh, visualize which deck is your deck, okay? You can pick one, you can pick two, or you could pick all three. So let's go ahead and clear our energies and put our focus on which uh, deck will have the answers for how your person is thinking of you in this now moment. Let's begin. Hello, pile number one. So if you have chosen the Gilded Tarot Royale, okay, which is this lovely deck, paired with the lovely uh, Aqua Obsidian, which controls the fish chakra, and this is your reading, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Dear Spirit, please reveal to me how does this person feel and think about you? How does your person currently feel and think about you? You know, what I'm seeing is that um, this person is really thinking a lot about you lately, but they don't know how to approach you, okay? Is what I'm feeling. Um, I definitely have a sense that uh, this person um, hasn't really talked to you in some time. Okay, it, it could have been, um, 
maybe a couple of weeks, could be months, okay? And for some years. But I definitely feel that um, there is a sort of a distance between you. It doesn't have to be physical. I really feel that um, this person hasn't really talked to you, okay? That's the sense that I'm feeling. But um, I have a feeling that uh, you have been on this person's mind for some time. Okay, they're wondering what you're up to. And I also see that they're checking up on you on social media. Okay, if you guys um, share that sort of thing between each other. I'm also getting the color orange. Okay, for some. So if your person likes the color orange, you know, I, I feel like that puts them in a good mood or they, they like that particular color. They could be eating an orange. <laughs> so let's go ahead and see. You know, right now, um, they're not able to approach you. You know, I had a feeling that, you know, they're separated from you. And I see that they can't really offer you much in the 3D, you know. They are thinking about you, okay. Uh, they're definitely feeling nostalgic. They're thinking about the past. But, you know, this person is really thinking about coming back, okay. You know, even though that their financial situation might not be so great. And perhaps that... Um, you know, coming forward towards you may not be uh, easy. They're definitely uh, thinking of you and thinking about how they can change or how much they have changed uh, since the last time that they have saw, uh, seen you, okay? I also feel like uh, your person is trying to um, really think about, like, the reasons why uh, they were holding back. Okay, they were really thinking about themselves, not really thinking about how you felt about them. So I definitely feel that this is like a one-sided uh, situation. Your person is only uh, thinking about their perspective and not really from yours. Hence the reason why they're not really communicating with you. I really feel like this person um, has a difficult time of expressing their emotions. Okay. That is the feeling I'm getting. Yeah, maybe their ego and pride is in the way because in a physical sense, uh, they can't really uh, offer you much. Okay? But I see that they can offer you something small. You know, they're, they're probably uh, trying to let down uh, their ego and pride so they could at least communicate to you on a small level. And I really feel that your person... Uh, they know that they weren't very clear with you in the past. Maybe uh, they went off in a different direction. And I really feel like it's because this person had a karmic situation. And that's the reason why they're not able to approach you. Okay? I really feel like your person is really thinking about you. But because of their 3D circumstance, they can't really be with you in a physical way. Yeah, I really feel that uh, your person is also dealing with a narcissist. Okay, they're very controlling, very manipulative. They tell your person what to do. And because of that reason, uh, this uh, person can only give you something small. Okay, this could be a text message, um, but they're not even communicating. Okay, there's a delay. If you guys have been communicating, the reason why they're not really talking to you as much is because, um, maybe because there's a child, okay, and they have obligations to children or a child situation, but I really feel like it's because there is a karmic here, okay? So this uh, person, I'm not saying that I have a, a, a dual life, but that's what it feels like, you know, and I honestly feel like your person wants to uh, get away from this karmic energy. They really keep thinking of you, okay, is what I'm sensing. But right now, they can't offer you much in the physical because they're actually in a commitment with another person at this time. I also see that, you know, they're starting to lose their patience. And they want to put their wall down. They really see that, you know, things um, are not really balanced with them. 
and they're not happy. They're not happy. You know, they're not even taking your offer. It looks good, but, you know, this person knows that they can't really accept it because of whatever situation shit that they're in. And I, I feel like that's why they're holding themselves back. So I feel like your person is thinking about making a choice because they know that uh, this uh, situation ship with you is not over. You know, I feel that your person has a hard time of communicating this. Hence the reason uh, with this deck, we have here the um, Aqua Obsidian, which controls the fish chakra, which is communication. You know, and I feel like your person has a hard time of really planning for the future, okay? If they can't really see what the future holds because they're, they're really thinking about their 3D circumstance, okay? And I really feel that, you know, your person can't offer you a relationship at this time due to the third party situation. And that's how they're thinking so far, guys. Okay. You know, what I'm feeling is that um, there is a setback or delay. Their wish is really to be with you. They really want to uh, tell you how much they, they care, how they feel. But because of their obligations and duties, um, they're, they're holding themselves back. They're repressing their emotions. That's what I'm also feeling. Wow. So let's see. Yeah, they can't even ex uh, express how they feel. And their heart, they, they more than uh, anything, would like to uh, communicate to you. But because of fear, fear of really telling you how they feel, they know that they're in a karmic situation and they want to be honest they want to manifest change so your person is really thinking about you um and i also feel that um they're holding their feelings back when it comes to you i feel that it's because they can't promise you anything until they can get out of this karmic situation okay you know, right now their intuition is blocked. They're really more focused on the 3D. But I definitely see that your person wants to confess their love towards you. They have a lot of feelings, okay, when it comes to you. And I feel like they want to apologize because of the separation. And they're not happy in whatever third-party situation that they're in, okay. And... I feel like it's because, you know, um, of the conflict that they could have with the karmic situation. So leaving the karmic isn't going to be an easy task. And they know that that's why um, they either had to end the situation with you, or they also know that they have to end it with the karmic situation. Okay? They want to get out of their head about you know their choices and decisions and i really feel like this person is laying here thinking of you they're not happy they're not happy that they didn't take uh, the offer when you guys had had the chance to work it out that's the feeling that i'm getting you know your person is thinking about ending a relationship with a karmic so that they could offer their love towards you because they know that the situation has been one-sided. Honestly, I feel that your person had a choice between you and a karmic situation and they chose to stay stuck in a karmic situation. Nothing worked out, okay? Instead, you know, they, they were unhappy, okay? And they realized that whatever situation that they chose, it wasn't balanced. I feel like uh, your person was giving more towards a karmic rather than um, the karmic giving towards uh, the person that you're dealing with, okay? And I also feel that they know that they, they breadcrumbed you, okay? They didn't give you enough. And now your person really wants to come back 
they're planning for it and they want to change. That's what I'm saying. They want to change and they want to make it right. You know, right now they need to heal. They need to heal this situation. They're starting to lose hope. And I feel like your person knows that, you know, they 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 really would, uh, weren't uh, acting in their best interest, okay, when it comes to you. And I really feel like it's because the karmic that is in their life was very controlling and very manipulative. And your person acted very immature. You know, how they handled the situation with you was really immature. And I also feel that, you know, it's not over between you and your person. And that's what they're thinking, okay? I also feel like they're dealing with a water sign, okay, karmic, that was emotionally manipulating them. So whoever your person is with, okay, they, they're manipulating your person to stay stuck in a relationship or a situationship, uh, guilt tripping them is another thing I'm also feeling. And your person knows that the relationship that you have, it isn't over, okay? You are their wish desire, but right now they can't really come forward towards you because they're stuck in a relationship right now or a situationship. And I feel like um, this person needs to really gather their strength to get out of their fear, to get out of this karmic situation, and they need to take action, okay? Until this person takes action, then they can offer more towards you. And that's how they're thinking about you right now. Wow. That's actually uh, really beautiful. You know. So let's see what else. Spirit, please uh, reveal to me a little bit more about person number one. Okay. Please reveal to me a little bit more about person number one. Who is person number one? Please, Spirit. Who is person number one? Gift. You know, this person really thinks of you as a gift. They really do. And also, dating. I really feel it like your person is thinking about giving you a gift and taking you out on a date. I mean, it could be on Valentine's, but that's what they're thinking and feeling at this time. That's really beautiful. I also see that uh, your person may have children. Okay, they could have three children to be exact. Maybe two girls and a boy. <laughs> Let's see what else. Spirit, please reveal to me what additional information wants to show up for person number one. How does this person think or feel about you? We have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So I really feel that, you know, your person, uh, maybe you guys have different spiritual beliefs. Okay, maybe cultural differences is another thing I'm feeling. Maybe uh, you guys think very differently when it comes to spirituality. That's the sense I'm feeling. You know, I really feel like uh, the both of you came from uh, different ways of growing up. One person uh, could have grown up rich and the other poor. Okay, that's another thing I'm also feeling. What else, Spirit? What else wants to show up for person number one? How do they think or feel? Attraction. So this person is uh, very attracted to you. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So I have a sense that your person is very attracted to you and also true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. So for, for person number one, um, they definitely feel that this is a true love connection. They're very attracted to you. And I have a sense that, you know, even though that this person is stuck in a karmic situation, they're thinking of taking you out on a date 
okay and giving you a gift that's really beautiful so let's see what else how does this person i think about you bonfire you want to light a fire and cozy on up <clears throat> maybe build a fire in your backyard or go camping what else spirit what else does this person want how are they thinking and feeling about you at this time how is this person thinking or feeling about you at this time scavenger hunt so they, they want to uh you know maybe give you a clue okay about how they feel what else spirit wow kissing in the rain you know your person is thinking about maybe the time that you guys have kissed under the rain Maybe they're feeling wet, hot, and frothy. <laughs> Slow dancing. Your person wants to dance with you. Spontaneous gifts. You know, I have a feeling that your person has a gift prepared for you. Okay? I definitely do because I, it could be a massage. You know, uh, your person is thinking about maybe the massages that you guys have shared or maybe uh, this person wants to massage you or you to them. So those are really beautiful energies that want to come through. So let's see what else. Spirit, what else does this person want to say? How are they currently thinking or feeling about person number one? How are they currently thinking of you? Honestly, I really feel like this person wants to come in uh, and see you soon. If you guys haven't been seeing each other, I feel like you know they have some gifts prepared for you. And it's spontaneous, right? It, it's like a, a spur of the moment type gift is what I'm feeling. I really feel like uh, they really want to get out on a date, you know? My life is not as together as it seems. So that's the sense I'm feeling, you know? That's the reason why they're not really charging in, moving forward. Uh, there is a delay for your masculine or your person uh, coming forward towards you. Okay, and um, it's because they're dealing with a karmic situation, but regardless of whatever situationship that they're in, I really feel that for some of you, your person is thinking about reaching out and sending you a gift and possibly offer you a date, okay, or take you out on a date. Also, I know I was a distraction from your pain. So maybe you were in pain and your person thought that um, they were a distraction. You know, maybe a good distraction, right? It wasn't that bad, you know, from what I can feel. And also, we have, I remember every detail of that day. So there could have been a thing of the past where your person was thinking of, and it's been weighing uh, very heavy on your person's mind. And what I'm feeling is that you know, they've changed. I, I definitely feel a sense that they have changed and they want to show you that they have changed and they're currently um, working on releasing a chronic situation. And I definitely feel like your person wants to come forward and take you out on a date and they have some gifts lined up for you, okay? That is what I'm feeling, okay? So let me go ahead and see. What additional message does person number one want to say towards you at this time? What does person number one want to say towards you at this time? What does person number one want to say to you at this time? How are they thinking and feeling about you? 
How does this person think and feel about you at this time? It really was me, not you. So this person knows that they have um, some issues, okay? Um, you know, if they they made it look like that you were the, the one at fault, it really was them, and they're, they're apologizing for it. It's really hard for me to open up. So this person has a hard time of really opening up, and that's why they're only thinking of you and not really taking action. But I really feel that this person is going to overcome their fear okay and really come forward because i definitely see here the king of swords in the upright so your person definitely wants to come and contact you okay and and communicate their truth okay and their truth i feel is that they they want to be with you okay right now their life is not together but you know they are thinking of you okay you know i really feel like you know they can't really promise you much but they, they want to give you something. Hence the reason I saw here the Page of Pentacles, okay? So you could receive a small gift of some sort. You still take my breath away. You know, this person still remembers you. You know, they're, they're coming back. This person is coming back, okay? Especially if you guys haven't been talking. And finally, I can't give up on my responsibilities right now. So I feel that this person is actually in a karmic situation. They know that they need to put closure towards that so they can open up towards you. But regardless of the situation, you know, I feel that your person doesn't want you to go. Okay, they, they want to hold on to you. They know they can't offer you 100%, but they can offer you something, you know. And... And I really feel that this person has a hard time of communicating their truth of how they truly feel, you know, and that's what they're thinking right now. Wow. So let me go ahead and close up this reading and see what is uh, the final uh, closing uh, message that this person wants to say. What is the closing message that your person wants to say about this connection? priorities wow you understand the paramount importance of manifesting love in all situations so this person has priorities okay once they um you know prioritize you know whatever that's going on in their life i feel that your person will come forward and also we have transformation you use the power of love to move through illusions and shift into awareness so i definitely feel like your person has transformed like i said in the very beginning i had a feeling that your person has changed they've changed since the last time you've actually been with them and that's the feeling that i'm getting so i really hope that that resonated with uh, deck number one so uh if if that resonated uh let me know in the comment section below and thank you all for all your likes your comments your shares and your subscribes and if you're new to my channel welcome i provide daily guidance messages here for the collective and if you'd like to book a personal reading you can visit me on my website it's www.scorpiomoonintuition.com and you can also follow me on ig as scorpio moon intuition and um let me know what you think and then if you like to stay on i'll be doing pile number two welcome pile number two so if you picked pile number two you have chosen the tarot of magical forest okay and this particular deck is paired with this lovely selenite okay so hopefully the selenite would give us the clarity and focus that we need from our spirit teams and um, give us the straightforward answers that we so seek. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Dear spirit, Please reveal to me, how does person number two, how does this person think or feel for this person? How does your person think or feel for you? They feel lost. 
they don't know what to do. I feel like um, you guys have gotten into an argument and, um, you know, uh, they, they really don't know how to approach you, okay? They know that um, they weren't in the best, okay, of intentions from uh, the last uh, conversation you had. I really feel like you guys have had like an, um, like an argument of some sort, okay? But I really feel like your person wants to make peace, but they don't know how, okay? That's the feeling that I'm getting. Uh, you know, their intuition, I feel, is a little bit clouded. Um, there was a third-party situation uh, that kind of interfered, uh, but I really feel like um, they're not so uh, focused on the third party anymore. Um, I really feel like it, it's something like, um, it's not something to really worry about, okay? Because I definitely feel like your person wants to get out of it. But let's see. Whew. No talky. What did I say? Uh, you know, this could be with a karmic situation, but I, I had this feeling that they're not talking to you. You possibly cut off your person, okay? And they're thinking, how could they talk to you, right? You know, and they're thinking, you know, maybe... Uh, they just need to really work on themselves. You know, maybe it was a misunderstanding. I really feel like maybe your person works a lot. Okay, that's for some of you. And they want to travel towards you. So this person could be at a distance. And they definitely want to close out a cycle. So they can have like a new chapter with you. I definitely feel like they're coming. Okay, they're coming soon. They're very passionate. And they want to move forward. And they want to tell you the truth. So this person definitely wants to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. But, you know, you're really blocked off. I really feel like maybe you cut them off. You don't want to hear what they have to say. You know, they, they kind of rubbed you the wrong way, right? That's the feeling that I'm getting. And, you know, and I feel like it, this uh, was in regards to feelings. You know, maybe your person uh, really didn't. Uh, look at to your, you know, into your feelings, and maybe uh, they're being a little bit insensitive is another thing I'm feeling. But you know, I feel like uh, they're they're not really wanting to work on the connection with you, but really more so work on themselves. So it's almost like a selfish uh, feeling is what I'm getting. But I definitely see that they want to work on themselves now, so that they can choose you because now they know they didn't know before. Okay. You know, that's the feeling that I'm getting. And now this person is like, ah, uh, can I come forward? <laughs> They're thinking, like, uh, is it safe uh, to come to you? You know, uh, for some, I feel like, you know, they're holding back because they don't know how you're going to react. Because right now, you're cold as ice, you know. That's the feeling I'm getting. And they feel like they can't really offer you much in, in the physical Okay, maybe it's because they don't have much, but this person realizes that, you know, you do make them happy. And they know that there's a potential that you guys could have, you know, a beautiful connection with each other. But, you know, they're really thinking about something here. Okay, uh, and I feel like it's their feelings. They, they realize, okay, they came off immature, you know, and they want to make it right. Okay, so I definitely feel like your person's thinking about coming back towards you, okay? And, um, you know, and I have a feeling that uh, this could be like an air sign also. Um, I was thinking Scorpio, okay, uh, if that resonates with somebody. I also feel that, you know, um, this person really thinks of you as, you know, someone that um, has, it, has it going on, okay? You have everything, but they're holding back communicating with you because they feel like they're not good enough. You know, for some, you know, maybe it's because they're codependent on you. Maybe you were their financial support, okay? And that's for some of you. You know, you are uh, supporting your person, and uh, they didn't have all their stuff together, and that's why, you know, they couldn't offer you much. And they feel bad, okay? They feel bad, you know, that they've gotten out of a, a relationship, either with you. This could be with the karmic situation, you know, for some, they feel like they couldn't, uh, you know, uh, come forward towards you because they were stuck in a karmic situation and they need to heal, okay? You know, maybe this person lost hope, 
but now they're, they're looking for the right time to come forward towards you. This could be within three days, okay? And I'm also feeling that, you know, they were not patient. Hence the reason why you guys got in that argument, okay, or situationships for some. And they're trying to gather that courage, okay, because they know that they were impatient. They didn't, they didn't think things through, okay. I don't think that this person really thinks about consequences, right. They, they're the type that rushes to do stuff is what I'm feeling, you know, and now they want to get out of their head, okay. So, you know, I really feel like your person could have manipulated uh, the situation between you two. Yeah, because they lied. They lied. Okay, somebody didn't tell the truth about what they were doing. And I really feel like, I feel like, you know, this person, okay, um, and this is specific for someone. This person was really codependent on you and they, they overspent, okay. They spent your money. And it could be a credit card, okay? And your person now wants to give back. They, they want to give back. They know that it wasn't right. And they want to get out of this uh, feeling, okay, of, you know, not really serving you justice in a sense. Because, you know, you're taking your, your money back now. You're not, you're not giving out handouts to this person anymore. Because I really feel like, you know, in a, in a sense, your person was very uh, manipulative in a way to kind of like give you breadcrumbs so that they can get like X, Y, and Z so you could pay their bills or <laughs> give them the money or give them a credit card, you know. And you're not, you're not feeding into this person anymore. That's who I, I'm feeling well. Wow. And they don't want to argue. I really feel like this person really wants to move forward. Okay, and they've made that decision. Okay, and they see very clearly now that they're going to come back and make it right. Okay, but perhaps some of you guys have been in a, a semi-short little separation period because of it. Because they, they pulled a number on you. And it was karmic. Okay, and I really feel like, um, you know, th this is like a, a new cycle, okay? So your person is, is really making observations and they're really guarded because they don't know how you're going to react when they try to come back because someone walked away, okay? And I really feel like it, it was uh, with a commitment. Maybe some of you guys were actually in a relationship, uh, you know, and that's for some. Some of you were in a relationship with your person, but for others, okay, they walked away from a karmic situation, but that karmic situation, it was temporary, okay? I really feel like you're actually better off than the karmic that your person is with, okay? But, you know, they came towards you because you were more stable than the karmic that they were dealing with. That's what I'm feeling, okay? And this person feels like they can't really offer you much, okay? That's how they're thinking, wow. So they want another chance. This person, you know, feels like maybe you won't take them back and they're coming back to apologize. You know, there, there's something that, like, happened all of a sudden. And they're coming in with trinkets, right? Like I said, they they feel that they've been they've been kicked out to the doghouse because why? You cut them out. You're like, no, hell no, you ain't coming back, right? And it's because this person wasn't really opened up with their feelings. Okay, you feel like your person was really insensitive to your needs, and because of a third party situation. Okay, and they're not happy. For some, your person likes to drink. Okay, um, that, that's how they cloud their mind. Okay, maybe they have like a substance abuse. And now they see. They see that they need to change because of their, you know, ill behaviors. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. And they're going to um, cut away the past. Okay, so they're leaving their past behind with the third party. Okay, they've really thought about it. Okay, because this person was, was in timeout when it comes to you. And now they're coming forward. Now they want to make a public appearance. For some, this person wouldn't go out in public with you because you were a secret. Okay? And this person was going in between you and another karmic situation is what I'm feeling. But now your person is wanting to show up towards you. They want to apologize. They want to tell you they love you. 
that you mean the world to them, okay? And, you know, they could have manipulated you. They're really thinking about getting out of the separation of juggling, okay? And they're really thinking about their past. Wow. Honestly, okay, if this is your person, I wouldn't trust them. They're doing very minimal to, to get you back. So they're going to give you a grand gesture to prove to you, like, you know, for a, a trinket of time. And then they're going to go back in their old ways. I'm just saying. Okay, that's what I'm saying. So you have every reason to put your guard up and say, hell no, you ain't coming back. And that, that's the, the, the clarity that I've received. So let's see what else. Spirit, what additional messages want to come through for your person? How do they think or feel about you at this time? How does your person think or feel about you at this time? They want to travel. I don't know, man. So, like I feel like in, in the very beginning, this person is uh, at a distance from me and they want to come travel towards you. Maybe for some, they want to go on that vacation with you, okay? At, at whose expense, though? <laughs> That's what I'm feeling. And also, communication. So, this person want to talk. Okay, so they could be texting you that they're going to travel towards you. Or they're going to come towards you. They want to make it right. I would watch out for this person. Okay, and so if you pick this pile and you feel like this is resonating with you and your situation, uh, you know, Spirit says, you know, don't, don't be too easy, okay? Like, you know, if they want to talk, let them talk, okay? It's going to take a little bit more effort than just uh, a text message is what I'm feeling. Spirit, what else? What else wants to come through for for your person? How do they currently think or feel about you at this time? How does your person currently think or feel about you at this time? How does your person currently think or feel about you at this time? How do they currently think or feel about you? Hard to hard conversation. Like I said, this person wants to communicate with you. Honestly, discuss your feelings about each other, okay? Have that discussion. Just because you guys have this discussion doesn't mean like, oh, baby, would you buy me a plane ticket so I can come see you? No. Let them buy their own ticket. I think flights are cheap still, right? But calling in your soulmate, you know, your prayers and affirmations and visualizations help you bring you two together. You know, I really feel like, you know, they're going to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and they're really thinking that, yes, you are their soulmate, okay? But this could be a soulmate that, that you're dealing with, okay? For some, it could be your twin, but I'm feeling soulmate vibes, okay? Um, that's what I'm feeling. But whoever this person is, they're going to make it right temporarily and they're, they're going to go back in their ways because I see them cutting you out. And they could go back to, you know, not, not expressing their truth. Because why? They're being selfish. They're only thinking about themselves. Like I said, they, they get in there. They get their foot in. They, they feel like they got you. Okay, yes, yeah, so you're going to buy their plane ticket, right? Or you, you're going to communicate with one another. And you're like, okay, yeah, come over, you know. And then, you know. This person is still juggling whoever, whatever situationship that I'm seeing, okay? They came in to to get on your good graces, okay? I feel like this person uh, is used to this behavior. It, it's a trained behavior. It's what they've done towards other uh, people that they've been with. This could be family. This is how they handle their family members is what I'm feeling. Okay, and all that, other past love interests. Okay, it, it's a very toxic behavior is what I'm feeling coming from this person. It's not good. I'm just saying, I don't like it. So let's see. But, you know, how are they thinking about you? Because obviously you, you, you love this person, you know, you have feelings. But, you know, you can use your discernment if you want to entertain uh, this particular person for what I can feel. So let's see. Barbecue. 
Okay, what, finger looking good? I was like, hey baby, let's go get them, them chicken. You know, let, let's uh, grill, grill some meat out on the barbecue. Or, or they a hot dog barbecue person. <laughs> they're like, babe, go get the beer, okay? I, I'm going to grill out, you know, and they're going to come over, right? Nah. So let's see. It's up to you, though. I mean, like a like a barbecue and a conversation is not gonna be the the end all, you know. At least not for me. Competitive fun. Look, this person likes to play. This person likes to play games. I'm just saying. What else? One more. They they like that competition, you know. And for some, it could be like you know, they like a challenge, you know. They they like the thrill of, you know, the going back and forth and and controlling, and manipulating, you know, uh, people and situations. And that's what I'm feeling. To them, this is a game. Look, I miss you. You know, your person misses you. You know what? Come on. I, I'm just going to have to put it out there, okay? I don't like this person, okay? <laughs> Scorpio Moon does not like this person. They're going to text you, baby, I miss you, you know. Um, you know how about I come over? You know, I'm going to travel towards you. Well, let me cook you a barbecue, you know, uh, blah, 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 right? And this person, okay, if they got your credit card and you were paying towards them instead of them paying towards you, I feel like that that's who I'm channeling, okay? That's that type of person. You know, I feel like it's very specific of whoever this is. And they're gonna they're gonna, you know, put out a line, I miss you, baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. I'm just saying. That barbecue better taste good if <laughs> if they're gonna win your heart, right? Um, so let's see what else. Let me let me do the hidden truth. Let's see what else um, is this person hiding. Spirit, what else is uh, this person hiding? How do they currently think or feel about you? How do they currently think or feel about you? How does this person think or feel about you? I feel like they think that you're easy. They're easy to manipulate. They know that if they tell you a few, few lines, then they good. That's what I feel like. This person got some growing up to do. I know that I crossed the line with you. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. What else? Spirit, what else wants to come through for this person? How do they currently think and feel about you at this time? How do they currently think and feel about you at this time? How do they currently think and feel about you at this time? I'm becoming a better person. You know, and I saw that they tried a little bit, but honestly, for this person, it's going to take a while, okay? It ain't just going to be like, you know, showing you just a little bit of effort and then reverting back to her old ways. Because that's what I'm feeling. This person, yes, they are becoming a better person, but it's going to take time for them, okay? So if you love this person, ooh, just, just have compassion, okay? You know, because I'm pretty sure you're going to see through their bullshit, okay? Because that's why I say that's what's coming out of this person's mouth but you know they're they are sincere but it's temporary okay that that's what i feel it it's in the moment okay it's not like long term i really feel like you're dealing with a very immature person this person is used to this type of behavior and they need to grow out of it right that, that's what i'm feeling so let me see what else so, what additional messages want to come through from your person how do they currently think and feel about you? How does this person currently think and feel about you? I don't think I can take your reaction right now. I know because you're you're the queen of swords. You want to cut them out? You're like, mm, I don't know. I don't know if I want you back, right? I can feel it. 
you know, because they did you dirty. They did something to hurt you, either financially, emotionally, you know, hopefully uh, not physically. If this person is physically uh, abusing you, you need to get out. You know, don't, don't let this person in. And if you do, okay, they need to change. They need to really show up, okay, because no one should take physical abuse, you know, when I can feel. It all comes down to timing. Yes, it is. You know, they know. They've been putting that dog owls, right? And it's going to take time. They realize this. Like I said, they're trying to become a better person. It's going to take them a while. They cross that line with you, and they want to have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation. So if you feel like this is you, and they want to have a, a, a conversation, and they want to come travel towards you, you're like, okay, but um, you're going to have to put in some major effort, right? You can't just come in and show up just a little bit of effort and, and expect a miracle. I'm just saying, okay? So let me go ahead and close out this reading and see. What is the final message that wants to come through from your person? What is the final message that wants to come through from your person? What is it that they uh, think and feel about you at this time? What is it that this person thinks and feels about you at this time? What do they think and feel about you at this time? What do they think and feel? Jeez. What do they think and feel at this time? What does this person think and feel? This element, you are developing the skill to distinguish love from fear, truth, and illusion. This element, that is a major lesson for this person, and I really feel like they're trying to use their discernment when they think of you, okay? They're trying to develop that skill. Like I said, I really feel like you're dealing with an immature person, okay? Like, they don't know a grown adult or a mature person, okay? They haven't dealt with one of those before. They've been dealing with those immature people, you know, who are used to, like, those toxic ways is what I'm feeling, okay? And they need to uh, change their social circle, Okay, that's the feel I'm getting because I really feel like you're different than this person. Like, I feel like you're more, more mature, you have more a sense of responsibility, and, you know, you're very clear, very transparent, and your person isn't. And, you know, they realize they messed up. That's what I'm feeling. Now they're using their discernment from fear, truth, and illusion, okay, and distinguishing love from it. So that's what I have for uh, pile number two. So I really hope that that resonated. Let me know if that resonated with you. Make sure you like uh, and uh, make a comment down below and share if you will. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I provide daily guidance messages here for the collective. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can visit me on my website. It's www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. And you can also follow me on IG at Scorpio Moon Intuition. Until then, I'll see you next time. Well, hello, pile number three. Uh, if you have chosen the Light Seers at Tarot, okay, this is your pile, okay? And the Light Seers was paired with the lovely Rainbow Rose Quartz, okay? It is called the Angel Aura Rose, which um, handles the fourth chakra, okay, which is your heart chakra, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Dear Spirit, please reveal to me what is the uh, energy of this person. How do they currently think and feel about you at this time? I really feel like this person is really heartbroken, okay, about what they've done towards you is what I'm hearing. Um, they feel guilty. They feel sad. You know, uh, for some, they haven't really expressed this. They're really keeping it to themselves. And they're wondering how you're doing. I really feel like your person isn't really talking to you at this time. 
you know, but they have very deep emotions. It feels very watery in nature is what I'm getting. Okay. I'm also sensing the color purple. Okay. Um, this pers uh, person likes the color purple of purple things. And for some, I don't know. Uh, I really um, picking up on someone who is like a country person, you know, like giddy up rodeo type cowboy. <laughs> That's for somebody out there. <gasps> oh my god, you know, and they have a big heart. It's just um, they're at loss with words. They don't know what to say towards you, and they find it very difficult to approach you. That's what I'm feeling. So I, I feel that this person is either getting out of a, a divorce, okay, or a marriage. This could be you, but this is make, making a choice between two people, okay. Uh, they feel really bad, okay, like I said, um, about like a situation that they've kind of put you through or a situation where they didn't really choose you is another thing also mm -hmm. feeling. And, you know, this person has been really grieving, okay? They've been really thinking about you. They're really connected to you, okay, with their heart. And I also see that they're trying to get out of their head, you know? You know, that's the feeling I'm getting. I really feel like this person was on their head, really thinking about the connection, and they really want to talk to you, okay? So you could receive some sort of communication. They're really thinking about maybe sending you a text message, maybe a phone call you know, about uh, making some sort of small offer, okay? So definitely uh, there's a message that's coming forward towards you, and you guys are in separation. I really feel like the person that you're connected with um, is a little depressed. They're not feeling good. I, I really feel like, you know, they're, I feel lonely. That's another feel, a feeling that I'm getting. And, yeah, they're, they're not good. You know, they're really sad. Like, I had that feeling when I first started this channeling. You know, it was like a depression. And, you know, it's because of the juggling. They didn't want to juggle you in this other situation. And I really feel that um, they're, they're just getting out of a, a relationship of some sort. This could also be with you, and that's why they can't really plan. And... Um, yeah, they're not able to offer you anything in the physical right now. You know, for some, they either lost their job or they're not feeling very balanced in their physical life. That's why they can't offer you their love, you know. And I feel like it's because of a karmic. So, again, the karmic wants to show up and, you know, they're trying to work. So, I feel like your person is really putting themselves into work or also wanting to work in a situation. And for some, this person actually works with you, okay, in the workplace. I also feel like they want to have union with you, so within four days, perhaps this person wants to get together with you, and uh, also it could be in another month, but right now, they feel like they don't have the means necessary to, to do this, okay? And they realize that this isn't over, okay? They're dealing with this third party situation, and they're getting over it, okay? They're really thinking, okay, about the future here, about how to end this third party, they're feeling really bad. They don't know what to do. Like that that was the feeling I'm getting. And I feel like now they're making a decision, okay, to go after their wish fulfillment, which is you, okay, to go after their happiness. But right now they can't really uh, offer you much, but they want to have another chance. So that's what I'm seeing for your person. So what they're thinking is that they're going to uh, leave like a past situation. They've really thought about it so that they can offer your relationship. I really feel like your person may come to you within two months and they've re received some sort of clarity, okay, about this uh, situation. And I really feel that um, they want to contact you. They're really thinking about it. So I definitely feel that in their heart, they feel like because of the current situation, the karmic was really codependent. Mm -hmm. Uh, on uh, the situation with you and I also see that um, they, they feel foolish okay for their decisions and choices that they have made 
And now they've received the clarity that it's time to offer you this relationship and let go of this karmic situation. And they're coming. So this person could be at a distance from you. Um, I really feel like they're traveling. Okay, they're packing up their stuff, you know, and it's just their suitcase, right? So they're not taking everything. They're not taking furniture or anything. I feel like they're leaving that with the karmic situation. But whatever that they have, it, it's not much, but they're coming towards you at this time. And, uh, but there's a delay. Okay, there's a delay in doing so, but I feel, okay, your person is, is going to choose you. So this is soon. Honestly, I feel like it's soon. It could be within six days, six months. It, you know, there's a delay, okay, for the past three days. Um, I feel like there was a setback. Okay, of your masculine really approaching you. But, you know, I see a lot of sixes. In the past six months, okay, your person has been trying to get rid of this karmic situation or put closure towards their past. And they've uh, recognized this. And I feel like within two months, your person is going to be able to offer you that relationship. So hang in there, okay? They're really thinking about this, uh, about uh, getting out of a, a relationship with a karmic so that they can be with you. That is one thing. They've been really thinking a lot about you, and they do love you, okay? They know that this is a high-level soulful connection that I can feel, okay? And they're, they're not happy, you know, that they're without you. More than anything, this person really wants to be with you at this time. You know, and I really see that, you know, for some, they feel like they missed that opportunity to work things out, to offer you this partnership. But I really feel like now your person wants to come in and communicate, okay, that they've made that choice to uh, to really take care of their karmic situation. That is the feeling that I'm getting. And um, it's not over yet between you two, okay? The karmic is actually still trying to hang on uh, to your person. And they're trying to get out of feeling stuck, okay? And they're really guarded, okay? But they're not that guarded. They know that they can get out of the situation, okay? Because this karmic right now, I feel like uh, they have expectations on what is being given to them. Because I really feel like this is like a settlement, uh, like a divorce uh, agreement about who gets the house, who gets the cars, you know, who gets the children, things like that, right? You know, things of monetary value, you know, and I feel like they're waiting on uh, like an agreement of some sort before they can totally uh, split from this person, okay? And right now they just have a lot of fear, okay, of really opening up towards you. Okay, because they they were really manipulated by this karmic, and that's why they're a little hesitant to really completely open up. That's why they're really heartbroken. Okay, and they're a little they're 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 hurt because of the past situation dealing with what the karmic did to them. But I really feel like this person does love you. Okay, they're just afraid that um they can't really uh, offer you you know a relationship right now. But I feel like very soon they're going to apologize to you. They've been really thinking about coming. And I feel like it's soon. So soon, I feel like they want to come. Okay, they, they're holding on to you. I feel like it's like, hey, baby, wait. Okay, just hey, wait a little bit longer. I'm going through a situation. You know, I, I wish I could give you more, but I can't. You know, and I hope you understand this. And, you know, just know that I want you, but I can't give you everything that, that you want and need or desire right now, you know, but just give me some time, right? That's the feeling that I'm getting because your person is really holding back their feelings, but they really want to invest into you. That's what I'm feeling. It's going to take time, but I feel like, you know, for some, you could receive communication to, like, wait, you know, that's the film getting, like, wait, you know, don't go, like, I'm just not in a good space, I can't offer you this right now, you know, and they feel like they can't uh, be uh, so giving towards you, you know, because they're going through a divorce or an ending of a, a relationship. So that's what I'm seeing. So let's see what else. Spirit, what does uh, your person think or feel about you? What else does this person currently think or feel about you at this time? What does this person currently think or feel about you at this time? What do they think? Oh my God, look at that.
twin flame. They really think that you are their twin flame. That's why they don't want you to go. Okay, they know that this karmic situation is taking a while. Also, they're going through a spiritual growth. This is really beautiful. You know, your your person has really um, ascended. Okay, that's the film getting. They're no longer being uh, immature. Uh, they've leveled up. That's the feeling I'm getting. And right now, you know, they're they're grieving, right? Going through their dark night of the soul. But I really feel like for some of you, okay, you're going to receive some sort of contact, you know, so that they could let you know that, you know, they still care. They love you. They want to hold on to you. Um, but right now, they're still going through a situation. And I feel like they're, they're going to let you know about what's going on. And if you could wait, if you find it in your heart, you know, to give this person a chance when things are, are clear and settled, then that is uh, what they hope for, for you guys to reconcile. And that's what I'm feeling. Wow, that's really beautiful. So let me see what else. Spirit, what else wants to show up for this person? What else does your person want to say about how they think and feel about you? What else does this person want to say? Yeah. I saw the swimming card wanted to pop out. What else does this person want to think and say about you? What else does this person want to say? release your ex. This could be you, but this could be them. They really, uh, you know, feel that it's time to release their ex, right? The time has come to, uh, the time has come to clear your energy. They're releasing their ex. That's what I'm feeling. Also, we have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. For some, you know, they're going to come travel towards you and they want to spend time with you. Okay. You know, that's what I'm feeling. Wow. What else, spirit? What else does this person want to say towards you at this time? What else does this person want to say towards you? How do they think and feel about you at this time? How do they think and feel about you at this time? How do they think and feel? Please say it. Call it in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you two together. So your person is wanting to call you in. Okay, they're releasing their past person. This could also be you. And I really feel like this person, you know, doesn't want you to go. They, they want you to stay. You know, they don't want to feel selfish, but I really feel like, you, you know, they don't want you to move on because they're getting out of a, a karmic situation. And that's what I'm seeing. That's actually really beautiful. So let me go ahead and see. What is the love language? Okay, for your person. How do they think or feel about you at this time? How how does this person want to express how they feel and think about you at this time? How does this person express their love when it comes to you? How does this person think and feel? about this connection towards you at this time. How are they thinking of you? Wow. How does this person think and feel at this time? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. We have wine tasting. So your person is thinking about maybe sharing a glass of wine with you. Okay, and that's if you guys drink. And also cute memes. You know, this person would like to uh, send you a cute little meme. You know, they're really thinking about you. Maybe they remember the times when you used to send them cute memes. Also something sweet. Oh, that is so sweet. This person is really mushy. You know, maybe wanting to share some ice cream if that's your thing. You know, they want to have, like, an ice cream with you. Oh, that is so sweet. Oh, I really like that. I mean, wine and dessert. <laughs> Not bad. All right. So, let's see what else. What, uh, what is the hidden truth from this person? How do they currently think and feel about you? What is it that this person wants to say about this connection?
how they currently think and feel. How they currently think and feel about you at this time. Finding out the truth crushed me. You know, there's some sort of truth that this uh, person found out and it really hurt them. That's why they're depressed. You know, for some, you know, they don't want you to go. You know, they don't want you to move on. I feel like they're finally getting out of their chronic situation, but this person never really contacted you to let you know that they're finalizing uh, their situation with that person. And uh, for some, they found out that the truth that their karmic was manipulating and using them. Okay? That is another thing I'm also feeling. What else, Spirit? What else? Uh, how does this person think or feel? Oh. I love you unconditionally. You know, that's why I really feel like this person knows that you're their twin flame. Because they had to go through a spiritual growth to get to the point where they're at right now. Now, this person loves you unconditionally. Loving you without conditions. Because I really feel like you guys were in separation. And they're dealing with a karmic partner. And even though that you guys were in separation, you both loved each other no matter what. No matter the circumstance, you're both, you know, still the love was there. Okay? What else, spirit? Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. So your person uh, stays awake late at night thinking about, about you. What else? Spirit, what else does your person want to say about this connection? What else does your person want to say? How do they currently think and feel about you at this time? How do they currently think and feel? How does your person think and feel? It's really hard for me to open up. So it's really difficult for them, you know, to express their feelings is what I'm feeling. I miss the feel of you next to me. So this person definitely misses you, especially when you guys used to spend time with one another. What else, Spirit? What additional messages want to come through from your person? How does your person currently think and feel about you at this time? How do they currently think and feel about you at this time? How do they currently think and feel? about you at this time. I will make things right between us one day. They're going to come back and make it right. That's what I'm feeling. So, you know, I really feel like they're thinking about you. They're thinking about coming back. You know, for some, you could get communication from them, very small communication, but I really feel like they're still going through a karmic situation or releasing of a karmic situation. But they, they're going to make it right, and that's when things are going to get beautiful because I really feel like this person is very close to ending their karmic contract so they can have true union with their uh, divine person, okay? That's what I'm feeling. That's a really beautiful message. So let me go ahead and end this reading and see what is the final message that wants to come through from your person. Dear Spirit and Holy Angels, what is the closing message that wants to come through for your person? How do they currently think and feel about you at this time? How do they currently think and feel about you at this time? How do they currently think and feel? about you at this time. How do they currently think and feel about you at this time? Cooperation. In your quest to manifest the energy of love, you realize that every person and experience has value. This person learned. They went through a spiritual lesson, okay? Spiritual growth. And it took cooperation from you, the universe, and karmic partners is what I'm feeling, you know. And they know that, you know, this is a twin flame connection. And I really feel that your person uh, gained a valuable experience, okay, with uh, the universe co-creating. 
you know, the causes and conditions for this person to learn a lesson is what I'm feeling. And ever since uh, this person um, learned to cooperate and go through their situation, now they're getting out of it. Now they're going to reap the, the benefits. Now they're going to reap the rewards uh, of this beautiful connection with you. I feel like very soon, okay, there's a handful of you who are actually going to come into true union with your person. Okay, that is the feeling that I'm getting. So I really hope that this reading uh, was helpful. I hope it really resonated with your situation. Let me know in the comment section below. And uh, thank you all for all your comments, your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I provide daily guidance messages here for the collective. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can visit me on my website at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. And you can also follow me on IG at Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope you enjoyed this uh, pick-a-card reading. And until then, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.